needs to be getting their hormones tested? Just women or men too? Everybody. When I bring up the birth control conversation, the one person who always ends up in my DMs is the person who is adamant. I understand birth control should be a last resort, but there are people with endometriosis is the only thing that helps us. I've never seen anybody come in with endometriosis and ever have their hormones tested properly. It's like when you go to some practitioner and said, this is the only thing you do. I'm like, oh no, it's the only thing that you can do through you. In September, I was getting my hair colored and my hair colorist said, hey, you are losing so much more hair than you should be just in a, in a yep. hair wash. I've never had my hormones tested. This yep. is the first time. How bad was it? This has been going on for years, especially at how high your levels were. There's physical and psychological things that are affected by the whole hormonal system. It can even predict what's going to happen to you in the future as far as mental illness to breast cancer, to prostate problems, to every condition on the planet. If really look at hormone stands for, it stands for message. It kind of gives you an idea of what's going on and how your body's talking to itself. Have you heard that 80% of people are pre-diabetic and have no idea? Yes, and I would say that's probably on the low end. How do you know if you're always tired because you're just getting older or because there's something hormonally wrong? This is gonna surprise people. Brittle nails. Protein deficiency. Constipation. Magnesium deficiency. Brain fog. It's gonna sound funny, lack of glucose in the brain. Sensation of pins and needles. B1 deficiency. Muscle pain. Potassium deficiency would probably be number one. I really get frustrated that people talk about root causes. There's always multiple things that go on. My recommendations are hard. They're so unconventional to what you've been trained your whole life. 